Okay, and so let's start again. Remotely, it appears I was already disconnected on a few occasions, but let me let me do my part 404. Uh, let's continue with this. In the part 404, it's something I really don't like doing it. It's an extremely unhealthy lifestyle. Uh, it's a stuff that is little just as you would eat poison because you do eat poison the poison is frustration uh, the lifestyle of get is the lifestyle that nobody would want the lifestyle like this uh, this comes with the cost of 28 years of life that I lost on exactly what you see here that's on a 10 square meter prison cell in a village that let me tell you something about this village later on I'm gonna demonstrate to you what kind of village this is as I'm gonna interact with a neighbor here with his daughter and with people involved in this crime they'll pass by to remind me basically exactly where I'm at uh, before I even head to the village you see I'm actually getting paranoid about even being connected to a video recording at this point because you can become a paranoid when you leave the room unattended and somebody gets in chops your personal belongings and at the same time, you can even intensify the paranoia in one if you remotely disconnect individual on a multitude of occasions, the internet basically without him even noticing and he's doing his stuff and he's not noticing and you are keep fucking doing that kind of stuff. I would say post-traumatic stress disorder issue but I'm actually happy to mention this issue at least at one point in time and add this on a menu of crime London sponsored against me uh, so that you get to understand what the fuck this shit is how it is to work in this kind of environment and if I tell you that this village here it's not intertwined or intertangled with a crime from this place today I managed to identify as I did go over the internet I cannot turn on to the people like this here that you see and that's bad isn't it that's a, that's a police that's a Slovenian police they have no possibility to turn to these people not only because a novel minister police department investigators from the novel minister police department were involved in crime against me since 1995 on behalf of Ljubljana prosecutor state prosecutor who commands this procedure for the sake of politicians and since he couldn't commute himself down here to novelist all the time and participate a single crime like this state instead uh, say in Slovenian prevaliti turned for a substitution of cr witnessing to crime to the local police investigators who had degrees so they would be in a complete control so they would know exactly on how to pursue each crime that took place against me so I lost 28 years of life on this stuff you can imagine I have no idea what is it maybe million crimes they committed against me it would be interesting number that it would have been possible to obtain the number that Slovenian state committed against me crimes they committed against me and so it's a shame it's disgusting that you can go and count on, on state division organization whatever you want to call this such as police 
and yet worse you cannot even count on what they presented to me as commission for the prevention of corruption it's going to be today i managed to identify several people as a matter of fact all the head people from this commission for the prevention of corruption who eventually they participated in this crime two of which they participated in this crime since 1995 since 1995 like this gentleman and this gentleman and they go forward to point out that at one point in time they entertained intertangled with the people that you see right there that's basically with the members of ex Yugoslav that's a greater Serbian Chetnik state communist party members and because of the attention they triggered through this case the only thing that happened was each have gone their way as a matter of fact they dissipated in 1996 and it was like nothing ever happened like we never met before that was the attitude that was that's how they maintain this guy was involved since 1995 it was presented to me by Golovic, Tanya Kresar, or was it, uh, Mrs. Kresal, and so on. And so, for me, that you have, that Milan Kuchan have assembled Commission for Prevention of Corruption, as you see here, the three head figures, the president and the two substitutes for one. It's a firm signal to me, indifferent from what you see here, I'm going to transmit to you about my neighbors, which participated this time since 1995. That's why this is very, very important. Uh, for me to explain that a victim in environment like this in environment of some kind of uh, criminal exhibitionism and that's pretty much how I see this as you know I see this as a as a some sort of exhibitionism I see this as some sort of exhibitionism this now I connected myself to the internet and we're gonna do this while the exhibitionism presents uh, someone who would I don't know become sexually excited, aroused uh, by exposing the, the genitals or whatever to, to other people you know, this is not exactly the proper translation here you know, this is not exactly this is really not a proper um, this is not a proper translation of uh, exhibitionism yeah. compulsive display of one is genitals yeah uh, sexual gratification through compulsive display of one is genitals yeah but let me involve a camera here and clarify this issue exactly in what I what exactly I meant there is people that love to shock 
and I refer to them in the past as uh, shock jock people. Uh, people that would go, and it's what I meant as a as an exhibitionist, that would go out there and would find somebody walking in a park or something, and would just go and open, let's say, the coat and expose their genitals. Uh, you know, that kind of behavior, insanity, stalking, and uh, waiting for a victim to come by and then just basically attack one with some kind of a public indecent display, uh, basically assault one. And I'm going to stop here because it's another subject I don't want to open. But in my case, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to repeat, just as I previously have already explained, exhibitionism, in my case, is performance of crime or crime performance under the use of drugs. So therefore, let's say that I get you, drug you up, and once I drug you up, I'll start to abuse you that threaten you because of your political activities, because of your political views. I was not even in any kind of political activities. I left Slovenia because I didn't want to have anything to do with the political activities. That's what makes these things interesting. But when the U.S. government have used me, British have used me, uh, I couldn't help myself but to decline an invitation from those whom I have immigrated away so I could have life, so I could have something out of my life. So, performing of crime under use of drugs, but at the same time gesturing you uh, something like getting you familiarized with my family, with my job, with my whatever, car, shoes, whatever it is, so that sometimes in the future it would come handy to you when you would have to identify me. And when I say this stuff, when I, when I touch the subject, when you would have to identify me, that sounds already violent, Mr. Trump. That sounds already violent to me. The idea that when you say you would have to identify me, that's already violence. When you say to someone, when you would, that is drugged up, when you would have to identify me, you mean that you're going to use like an ultimate violence to compel individual into the future, uh, identifying uh, location, recognizing through, in the past, locations where you were, where this victim was uh, subject to torture, whether that be in Eastern Europe or Western Europe or Asia or Australia, America, and so on. And that's basically under DUI, under being drugged up, completely drugged up, under a procedure known as MKUltra. So I don't recognize this, this as a legitimate procedure of any kind. I acknowledge this whole case is a nothing other than ultimate display of violence. And so what it appears to me that people like, yeah, enough about the names, about who financed this stuff. Uh, yeah, people did variety of things, uh, mainly for their own interests, and it doesn't matter, the interests. Uh, anywhere from jobs, if you want to go to work for Illuminati, look at the papers, look on the, on the internet, look on the web. Uh, yeah, just just type extra earning, uh, super paid jobs, Illuminati, that kind of stuff. And maybe you can come something across like this case here. And for certain torture, you will perform on someone as um, long as you don't go completely insane, uh, you'll be able to get a discounted uh, destination fares, lodging, uh, discounted real estate, employment, uh, even promotion at your work, 
and so on. So I'm doing a little commercial here for the London, for the Prince Charles. Uh, so it's going to be his business is going to take off even better for Mr. Trump and so on, for the people who cook this crime. Yeah. But for a little people like myself, I'm just going to satisfy myself uh, with circumstances I'm in for now. Till eventually um, I manage to obtain uh, some form of assistance that will stop this bullshit. Uh, put it to an end. Some saw this to a big sacrifice. I don't see this as a sacrifice at all. Um, I don't see this as a human sacrifice at all. I, I One view at the massacre that's taking place in the Ukraine, and I'll tell you, removing 1,000 or 10,000 people, it's a small fucking deal. It's nothing really. So I don't see it as a big sacrifice at all. I'm going to put it like this. Um, this war, this independence from the so-called Serbia, uh, it did not settle enough, I think, in the heads of a lot of people here in Slovenia. And unfortunately, it didn't get where the country is located, where the country headed. Uh, and uh, if they did change their mind, which I would not even object to, despite the violence I endured during Yugoslavia, that's a greater Serbian Chetnik state, they should let this the international society know that they are unwilling to maintain its independence status. And that way we would avoid all the problems. But with this kind of a exhibitionistic crime behavior, criminal behavior like this, uh, we're, we're really not getting anywhere. I mean, flashing in front of me with idea to remind me of the torture. Because uh, the main thing, what's the main thing? What is the main thing? In respect to issue I mentioned to you, the main thing that is involved in it, it's torture. That's the main thing. The accent here is on the torture. Uh, the second accent that's uh, next to this main subject is ability to awake the interest in person so that he could recall a torture that was performed on him under NK Ultra. So that's basically we're going to give you, you're going to identify me and with your identifying me, you're going to get a proof about uh, us knowing each other somewhere from some some place in the past and that's actually going to give you the chance to further avoid psychiatric persecution which slovenian state commenced with a complete in a complete agreement with european union with united nations with amnesty internationally international in 2013 Nobody objected to these people. Uh, that's already after 18 years of torture. They threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje, acknowledged me as a paranoid schizophrenic, and have maintained since exactly what I stated, type of the status, despite my providing numerous proofs through the website which they hated more than anything else you can see this right here on Alser times you can go and you can google Alser times and you can go through the list of proofs god knows how many mostly from slovenia i have not copy pasted yet in this area i have not done any of that yet something yet i have to do
these are all the proofs that are listed what I have not copy pasted is God knows how many I have to go and copy paste it probably was over one year ago when I copy pasted this stuff here for the last time so the update is needed plus I have God knows how many people still that I have to place online that I have identified in addition to everything you see and you see the recordings here that involve people from well and from Poland and Czech Republic and Slovenia and Slovakia uh, and from Hungary and from uh, Britain and from United States and uh, exclusive locations that I should never have any kind of and other countries that I should never have access to France and so on uh, yet I did manage to identify I did manage to pass through that stuff despite all this the Slovenian state continued to maintain this type of status this kind of status here this is a Ministry of Interior its Department Against Corruption which the best point pointed out to you how it works it works like during the Soviet Union Joseph Stalin had repeated to the people whom they murdered on a daily basis basically you got no fucking chance you got no fucking chance basically repression from one day to another even posing exhibitioning itself through the so-called Slovenian Commission for the Prevention of Corruption uh, sad when you don't have a place you can turn to for assistance in a situation like this these are the people I have identified now they were appointed by this man here that you see that's a uh, well his mentor was Milan Kuchan and then you can see here basically where this people are coming from how these people pop themselves up you know the chances that we would meet don't actually exist because of what I stated these people are not qualified to even assist me and it was not the idea here is not for these people to assist me but the idea is to have them pose like this for the sake of the exhibitionism political exhibitionism perversion which I have very well described to you today yes there is a, such a thing like flashing you know, that's called flashing flashing in front of people uh, you can claim them with idea that so that you will you will give them a chance assist them uh, but in primary picture when it comes to this it's an ultra violence that was implemented for the sake of the greater Serbian state known as Yugoslavia which Slovenian Borod Pahor Tanja Fajon Milan Kuchan and others hoped and still hope they will bring back on the picture let's let's take a little break here it's very oppressive to see my neighbors intertwined entangled in this state infra criminal state infrastructure uh in this in this cluster in this to into this criminal cluster with idea to destroy you eat you on an in and out mentally to kill you after you already lost 28 years of life it's very very fucked up it's not an easy one to deal with uh, but I think that the people like Prince Charles they like this because they lost the compass in life they just have to have some kind of guidance they have to have something that powers them I think that's terribly wrong with the people like this and it's then they find somebody they can stress the shit onto uh, and use the person for their interests uh, to I don't know I think they're extremely miserable people like this they see ordinary people doing well doing their stuff in life uh, and they just uh, they need some kind of meaning to their life something that gives them meaning 
and that that kind of life this is what it is this is what it comes to that's basically what turned out to be my life afterwards by meeting the people like this 28 years of life what I want to do ladies and gentlemen because I for me it's very important for you to understand the circumstances I am in the environment that I'm entangled into that is around you don't use you, you can see that I don't even have a place I could go and file complaint the police eventually when I file complaint to them spurred a criminal procedure against me not on one but on a multitude of occasions they began to persecute me before you know for complaining they involved psychiatrists against me they involved the judiciary system against me so I just need you to understand it's very difficult sometimes you can stuck in the car with a car in the mud what what Prince Charles did he basically froze me in time he took away from me 28 years of life and the only thing he did was with the US government they make my life fucking impossible for 28 years and I can't go on like this being secured by the team of police officers that performed nothing other than crime against me nothing other than crime against me uh, but well keeping me safe basically dead frozen in time basically if you want a promo at your work if you like the promotion at your work you want better job you want better pay you want to go to the holiday discounted tickets cheaper car discounted real estate or you want to start your business whatever please visit the internet the Google and enter inside Illuminati high pay job opportunities for Illuminati and so this they're gonna help you out indifferent from the worst criminals the world have known up to date it's actually better tool they have two tools one is the internet and the second it's free and the second thing is it's the state it's all in the name of the state the country the Great Britain no longer is Great Britain it's now United Kingdom or it's Great Britain and Northern Ireland it's all in the name of the state Prince Charles deprived me of two things one was of Slovenian citizenship and the second thing he did is he described me of American citizenship kudos to Prince Charles Prince William Prince Andrew and all royals royals from Britannia so I thought that this was important for me to make uh, the neighbor here that later I'm gonna resort myself right across the street from ours 92 years old wanted me to take a notice of this he appeared to me as I'm gonna uh, play your recording he appeared to me with a hat that had a British sign on one uh, he approached to me uh, and it was his daughter that was cleaning the window right down below uh, according to MK Ultra scenario uh, and it was a Miroslav Berger that passed by uh, which he repeated me this is my good friend and then next to Miroslav Berger is Igor Kotar this is my good friend uh, and then he involved the scenario the health scenario the health scenario involved his leg if however I would mention this kind of scenario is what also his daughter confirmed me and also other people in the village of which one just happened so also to be a mechanic I'm gonna mention to you in this video who had his own identical type of uh, psychologically identical from psychiatric 
evaluation identical approach um, and uh, connected to this house here which is from Mohar family whom I already have exposed about how I was guilty uh, for her husband to have passed away how he contracted the cancer because of me that's how that's how this shit started here uh, they didn't they just didn't know how they would get rid of me and so they involve even dead people in it dead people meaning that this man supposedly was the one I have convinced Andranke Ultra to eat to consume figs that were uh, from the rain whether you want to say rotten or whatever I don't know I, I definitely would consent on 100 MK Ultra and probably did whatever they did with me uh, and then it started to blame me that I caused him a cancer during MK Ultra but because of a lot of huge amount of torture that my father alone committed the fig tree that was there planted in 91 was thrown out by my father also the request of neighbors and everybody else they just want to go like nothing happened all of a sudden in 2000 uh, they have removed one completely a fig tree disappeared so that I would not recall and then they seeded another big fig tree in 2010 my mother told me what we have right there is from 2010 so basically 10 years nothing waited for my return from the US to evaluate on what exactly I remember or not or what I, what the situation is and this and that it established that I'm not a threat to them uh, and planted bag fig trees uh, the neighbor I'm talking about passed away uh, it was eventually his mother that developed the cancer in 2011 I think that I posted this is a Mohar family whom Dr. Igor Kotar have cured and had a big difficulty to cure they lost hope and they started to hold the ceremonies uh, funeral uh, ceremonies they started to orchestrate on how uh, she will pass away uh, and involve me in MK Ultra uh, to see the farewell party which they prepared ahead with her participating in one uh, as a future event so where I would come to express my condolences to this family what I would see in front of me would be already something that have taken place now the thing is that the lady got cured from this cancer issues uh, possibly I think she, she did mention she had a breast cancer there's a strong possibility she had more than just breast cancer there's a strong possibility she had more than breast cancer because Igor Kotar had a really really hard time Dr. Igor Kotar that was helping out this uh, people with uh, I don't know medications and with uh, uh, connections you know he that's what he's known for and they began to orchestrate the same identical issues this guy here involved problem with his leg how his leg how he has a problem with the leg uh, that just appeared as a problem uh, and even a mechanic that will appear I'm gonna play uh, uh, audio that will appear in the house to inspect my car uh, which is otherwise was a good my friend is a good is a good friend of mine he started his own schizophrenia by involving in scenario how uh, 
he had a problems in the elbows and knees. Uh, he's got a pain in the muscles and I don't know what else. Uh, something that would be on a first glimpse related to rheumatism, you know, rheumatic kind of stuff. But in fact, um, had suffered from that kind of stuff just like this neighbor here already for quite some time. The two issues which both have involved in MK Ultra stated me that if I would only mention that they already had this uh, problems already in the past, it would be a paranoid schizophrenia. With the lady that I mentioned here, with her problems and with her son, uh, and entangled with a burger here who designed all this scenario crap I should say crime against me he's an attorney and Dr. Igor Kotar from behind these people just like a Slovenian state have hoped the least on some sort of negotiations with me on how we would somehow negotiate if if no other way through the court uh, extort me basically to agree to their conditions or insist that something is psychologically wrong with me and so this is what I posted today about the so-called Slovenian Commission for the, Pre for the Prevention of Corruption now imagine that this shit is completely consuming your environment, your time, your life. And my age is 51, not 21. 51 years old. It's not a good stuff, this shit here. This is not a good news. For me, this is not a good news. That's why I stated that this exhibitionism, this joy, this, this torture promenade for me, as far as involvement from people from Slovenia, I'm not going to say for the people that come from abroad or that come from far away. It's a people that, that came from very, very far away to meet me, from Holland, from Germany and so on that they would meet me they wanted to pay me from what i see a personal respect doesn't matter they had to do whatever they had to do as long as they appear from so far away they're the people who paid respect they did something for me from far away they came to express respect to express uh exactly what i stated it's not equal to what I described to you here right now. Like this individual here involved in a torture a crime against me since 95 with his daughters. With his son-in-law who was super ultra violent and his grandkids and so on. Now thinks I'm going to equal this or let's say this burger here that you see right there. A family that abducted me to Serbia, to Bosnia for beatings, for abuse, for physical abuse, that I'm going to go and fucking equal the people like this with other people who are actually out there to help. Well, you know, this kind of exhibitionism you're doing, ladies and gentlemen here, especially here from Slovenia, does just that kind of stuff. And what angered me is that a friend of mine, a good friend of mine here, the mechanic who's audio recording I'm going to play first was trying to bridge this stuff his wife is actually working in a healthcare and he stated to me if you're going to mention this kind of stuff and it's going to be a problem it's, it's, uh, you're going to be even destroyed and I don't know what and this and that and, and all kinds of stuff like this that he had to do this like it or not they compelled one into his own scenario his problems are really not a real ma a rheumatic uh, I identified immediately the scenario 
I knew that he had these problems already before, but I couldn't point out when he came to our house actually where exactly I would point one. I pointed out him the same solutions. I had the same idea about his solution to the problem I suggested him under MK Ultra. Uh, his brother told me when I met him, when he met me, exactly according to MK Ultra scenario, he told me, this is from the tick, he said. Now, there is a forest there behind, people get into, uh, it's ticks there, and he got what appears to be a Lyme disease, that's at least what he stated, hopefully they're not going to do something to me. Uh, for many, many years he already had one, it was undiscovered, and it finally surfaced out, which is kind of a strange kind of stuff to me. That's why I stated what I stated in respect to myself, in an environment like this, you, you just don't know what the fuck. Uh, so, not okay to be bridge between issues like this. Don't try to be smart. Don't try to paddle me over uh, for the sake of something that is complete evil. Talking about Milan Kucha here, talking about Borut Pahor here, talking about the politicians that shouldn't be on the picture. You voted for the independent Slovenian state. If you can't, if you can't, then you have to give a notice to international community that you would like to become a part of greater Serbian uh, state. And I'm certain they're going to help you out. But you cannot maintain a genocidal exhibitionism in Slovenia under the forced unemployment and psychiatry targeting, murdering basically people through the forced unemployment, psychiatry and so on. That's a stuff you cannot do. You cannot do it, because I will not allow you to do this. You understand? I don't allow you. I'm not going to let you get away with it. For you to get away with it, you are going to have to give a proof to Austria, to Italy, to Hungary, to Croatia. You're going to have to give them a proof in a form of blood clot. You understand? You're going to have to give them a form of proof that that's what you want, if this is what you want, you're going to have to give one in a form of clothing covered with the blood, in my case. Otherwise, I will never, ever let you through. Not a single fucking neighbor here, not a single individual here in this village, I'm going to let through. To make myself clear that you understand here in this village, not a single one is going to get through this. Not a single one of you is going to get through this. Whether that be this police officer here that was involved or whoever inside of this village, nobody's going to get through this. There is a house that grew up right here. There is a house that grew up right here. A little further from what you see, those two little... Uh, plant, uh, little plant houses or whatever you want to say. And the husband is a Serb from Bosnia, from the occupied territory in Bosnia by Serbs, from the village. And the wife, literally, I think, I think she's from Belgrade. We have never spoken officially before. She was involved in MK Ultra, I think she eventually started, according to MK Ultra scenario, she started in United States of America. But what's really, really important to me, there is a asphalt road for the bikers they have created. Uh, it's behind the village. And this asphalt road they created behind the village connect the end of the village with a neighboring village along the Kirka River. This is a new asphalt road. So it goes from what you have seen, exactly this here that you see, this is now it became an asphalt road. And this kind of asphalt road was already replicated before 
in Bosnia, where is a very similar uh, landscape as the one here from this village. Yeah, so this is the new pe new family that moved inside of this village. This village people did already some other stuff before. Let's say that they had to. Uh, and it's this people here inside of the village, certain people who know very well who. Okay, beginning with this police officer here. His name is Metot Yerman who gave a silicon masks therefore a profile of their facial profile turned through the silicon masks to the Serbs because they just had to I was bitched at I was uh, death threatened at and it's what the Serbian side inquired through Slovenian Milan Kuc and Boron Pahor Slovenian so-called ex-communist members, Yugoslav communist members, they got it. Now, I am not here to take a shit. When you have spoken to me during MK Ultra and everything you have accused me, I'm taking it extremely serious. And so, you're going to have to prove to me what I stated right now. What you stated me first time happened in 98. So this silicon mask supposedly, I was told, were used by the Serbs in Bosnia and in Serbia. They would get other Slovenian people who would then throw themselves supposedly if it was not for these village people who at times also have traveled to the Serbian Bosnia yeah, that's why this is so important. That's why I'm saying to you, Kirka, Kirka people here, Kirka Street, Kirka Village, none of you is going to get away. I'm not going to let a single fucking one of you to get away with the smallest thing. Aha. To death threaten me, to beat me up, to torture me in Bosnia, in Serbia, tell me how I have to comply with them and shit like this. Now you're going to have to articulate to me. Now you have to fucking explain to me for what exactly you had to give Serbs and perform for the Serbs. And we're going to start with that kind of stuff here. I'm not going to take a little fucking shit from you in respect to when you got your problem with the leg. Or I'm going to say in this case here. And it's my friend. I'm referring to that you're going to hear first audio recording from a mechanic. Maintenance mechanic from General Hospital in Novomesto, whose wife, still is employed by the hospital, by the healthcare, whatever, had a problem with a thick, uh, unbearable pain he suffers from, um, not a rheumatism. And for what he claimed me uh, was just uh, taking some hospital examina uh, examinations and stuff like this. This problem of mine is much, much, much bigger problem than in this case the clusterfuck the Mr. Miroslav Berger, attorney at law involving crime against me since 95, and his colleague next door, Igor Kotar have orchestrated this problem of mine is much much bigger and i don't give a shit about the neighbor like this as i told you one look at the ukraine about what goes on a bloodshed over there i'm gonna tell you the neighbors like this means to me shit they mean to me you mean to me nothing less than nothing number one thing i would like to discuss in this video First thing you have to understand, when I'm wasting my time, I'm not going to waste one for nothing. When I'm wasting my time, you're going to waste your life too. Trust me on that. The first thing I'm going to accent here,
is this thing here. This is the original audio recording of X Hospital Vehicles Maintenance Mechanic. This is the mechanic who worked at the Novo Mr. General Hospital, a maintenance mechanic who maintained ambulance vehicles. He inspected cars and so on, and whose audio I have published online in Slovenian language only on September the 23rd of 2022. And so the only thing I have published in respect to his visitation it really was whatever concerned the car, and that was pretty much it. And then I got a different idea about this stuff because it did involve other issues. It literally involved issues such as police insisting me, as I explained in video part one and number two, on how I will be the one on basically on how first police investigators insist, investigator insisted me on how he will help me out to resolve the situation, take me in the garage, demonstrate me exactly this car, sometimes in the year 2011 or 2012, and then insisted me point on how I will be the one who's going to disburse him for all the crimes his police department committed against me by literally giving, by literally paying with my own money, with the last dimes from my wallet to the mechanic who's going to come inside of this house, inspect the car to establish that eventually nothing is wrong with the car. In fact, suggested me that indirectly suggested me that just like everything else that was destroyed and let me repeat destroyed took about probably 2,000 euros damage here in damages over the course of the years all the damage inflicted on me was yet another act of myself uh, I don't know puring the oil all over the uh, engine or something like this, doing it myself, because next to these beautiful neighbors, I got another neighbor here. His name is Andre Ul. Just like this individual here, whose name is Dana Colenz. This is the guy who was used for physical abuse, for torture and to cause, he's a mechanic by profession, to cause mechanical harm to vehicle, to vehicles, to cars, to my personal cars, as well as to my personal belongings. That just about, if I'm going to point out, it's a gasket, it's a head gasket that's blown on my car, it's going to be some other stuff that's going to be done on my car. Uh, if I'm going to go ahead, actually, this individual, Andre Ul, insisted me to repair this. If I'm going to go ahead to even change the fucking oil on this Citroen Xara when you bring one home. We're already going to go and we're going to do something else to you. We're going to fuck you and we're going to do some other damage to you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot exist in an environment like this and I will not allow others to exist in an environment like this. I will trigger at whatever cost police intervention in this case, whether that be from international community or people here in Slovenia. But I will not tolerate, I will not bend even a single millimeter down in front of a crime like this. These are not neighbors this is crime, and I will not tolerate not even a single millimeter of this crime. The first thing I want to refer to you right now is, and we'll translate this into the English language, it's going to be the audio recording from the mechanic who appeared here at no date other than August the 31st of 2022. 
Yes, it's concerning the car I have purchased on December the 17th in 2021. That's basically one year ago. And let me explain to you today is October the 3rd of 2022. So this mechanic appeared about one month, almost a half, one month and a half, one month and 10 days ago at, uh, in a garage. And we had a conversation, and that's what we're going to take from. This is going to be the number one thing I want to refer to you right now. This. Well done. And this year, this is going to be what's going to follow up. I'm going to follow up on it. It's going to be a recording that will involve uh, my neighbor afterwards, Mr. Hench. 90, 92 year old, I think he is, a father-in-law from Don Lenz. And uh, I'm going to use that recording to demonstrate what kind of environment actually this kind of exhibitionism. It's a different kind of exhibitionism. It's an exhibitionism of evil. What kind of environment this is? Because Slovenian state should know to get this over with, to complete this transaction, they're going to have to give Austria, Italy, Hungary, Croatia, they're going to have to give a proof. It's going to have to be a hard proof so they're going to be able to close this chapter, as far as my case, after 28 years of torture. So that Europe, the world, is going to take a strong note about what this little nation here represents, the value this nation represents. I am not backing down in front of anybody. Let's start with a translation of a mechanic that was involved in this case, and here Thank you. So we're talking about August the 31st, 2022, inspection of my car, purchased a year earlier, Citroën Xara, where it appears to be also a problem with engine. Uh, it was not only a problem with the engine, it's not going to be difficult to get the money back, it's not going to be difficult to prove the case. Uh, because of this here, this, this pictures here that you see here, uh, I've taken this picture before I have even, uh, take, I should say, purchase the car that day on, uh, on December of, uh, On December in 2021, yeah. Taken at the seller uh, photos, uh, you can see this under the post, under this one here. Photos taken at the seller December the 17, 2021, when I purchased the car clearly was not in line with advertisement clearly the seller advertised something completely different than what i have encountered in front of the home that day after walking all night long to get to his home you can see the rusty spots you can see marks the rust on quite a few locations hood on the sides on the roof so that definitely doesn't fit the description of original ad. You can see this stuff, okay? But there is some other problem. It's also the problem with the engine. And more than anything, the problem here is that 
not even so much that she is an ex-police officer. But the problem is the amount, the degree of crime that Slovenian states have committed to to get me to purchase this card. This is where I see the biggest problem in this whole thing. All other crime that uh, took place prior to the purchase of this card. That's a big problem to me, yeah? That's a big fucking problem to me. I travel to a completely remote area, uh, impossible to access, uh, 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 very difficult to access, 200 kilometers away, auto stopping and all kinds of crazy shit. Lucky was I was taken back home, but it could have a completely different turn. So this is really where the problem is. It's a major problem for me, actually. So let's go with this. Marbe se jaz koloku v popove vlo. Da, ne zabavljamo. Ampak nimamo te garaže, ti si tam imamo. Ja. So I open the garage and we meet inside of the garage. Yeah. 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 He is in pain with his elbows, with his knees, I open the hood. Everything is in pain. This is a very good friend of mine. Uh, we always were very good friends. He's got a few brothers. Very nice people. Uh, but he attempted to become a breach between Miroslav Berger, between Danikolens, between Andrei Ull, between other people. Um, in other words, he joined this kind of exhibitionism. He did give me a confirmation, which was completely, completely in line word after word by the police exactly evaluated by the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch on what kind of what to say how to say but still well it's very relative it's a good person it's a nice person it's a good person He did something he should not have, and it doesn't matter really. He's saying he's got a problem with knees, with elbow, with with a pain all over his body for two months. Well, you know, they got me twice from Poland. Uh, the problem he is witnessing right now about that kind of problem he got that kind of problem already in 2018. 
not even in 2019 but in 2018 he already had this kind of problem and the neighbor that you're gonna hear me talking to one and who tried to actually even obtain some sort of physical uh, feedback something like this from me uh, he got his problem already at least since 2017 and I think it's rather for me to say to be on a better side at least since 2016 and so but if you're gonna say that kind of stuff it's gonna be a paranoid schizophrenia you see uh, there is neighbors the people who look over you the people that would not allow crime the people that would take action if something like this would take its place as citizens and then there is some other form of evil and that also persists within the society you cannot nationalize actually you cannot privatize police I will not allow this you cannot privatize uh, prosecutors here you cannot privatize uh, anti-corruption commission and stuff like this. this is the stuff the human rights ombudsman and so on you can't mr kuchin mr miroslav berger you cannot privatize home for elderly people you cannot privatize public hospitals you cannot privatize public institutions the way you did you have turned them into tools extortion tools crime tools for the sake of your greater Serbian agenda here in Slovenia and that is just not the citizen way that's not the way it's supposed to be in any country he was not capable to even walk but now he feels better he told me in the father's in the world to i know yeah 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 got injected in his knee uh, say a pro say a pro this time I able. yeah and i tell him that's a good thing you 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 got uh, it's a good thing and i say to him he's like wow and i say well why wow well because i told him under mk ultra already this that when you have a pain in elbows in knees it's most likely due to wind because we sweat through the elbows through the knees more than on any other part of the body and if you are sensitive to that type of uh, sweating which can easily intensify into uh, actually grow into pain in elbows and in knees because of uh, wind because it's it's blowing wind because it's cold and it, you're you're sweat we are we are sweating in those parts of the body the most you should be wearing the clothing at all the time even at all the time even in the summertime on a sunny day if the wind is blowing or whatever it is you should you should always cover the sensitive parts of, of the body and it's something i have repeated him already before but it appears as he came with the short pants again with a uh with a t-shirt and stuff like this that he just didn't get the note yeah the motto dogi gata ci se le da fare pa dogi hlaša tu se mo sem povedal kako ti hodiš v kratki i told him listen even in the summer time it's okay to have as a matter of fact you should if you have this kind of problem you should have a long underwear short and long underwear and pants over if you have this kind of problem 
I had a problem like this. I had a serious problem when I was 14 years old, uh, 13 years old, and uh, somehow I managed to get rid of it. So he asked me, why don't you do this? Prvi ću čeri, prvi ću čeri da sam šu u kratkih hlačah do vas, pa do e, tam, do... E, yeah, but why is there still a little problem? I tell him, listen, I, I, he asked me, why don't you have the short, uh, uh, the, the, the short underwear and long underwear and pants yourself? Uh, so I tell him, yeah, this was August the 31st, so I tell him, listen, yesterday was the first time I did go with a shorts to you without wearing uh, underwear, long, short and long underwear, as I always do. Everybody knows me, I'm always protecting my knees and elbows, I don't. I don't expose myself, not even if the weather is sunny outside, if it's windy, I do not wear. I, I simply do not wear short pants or t-shirts or whatever. I tell them the cover from the engine I have removed because there was a paddle there. And he says, where was the paddle? So do you have a flashlight we can flash the engine? I said, there, there you have it. Here it is. So it's good, good. He said, so it's just here? This? He said, well, I said, you can see on the top of the engine, it's oil all over the place. He says, oh, I see now, I see now. Um, he's saying this is just on a, on a cover from the engine. And uh, I say to him, listen, uh, this right there that you see probably truly is, as you stated, this probably really is a mixture of oil and coolant. Yeah, he says, he says, it's just a little bit. He said, I, and I said, well, if this is just a little bit, how much more do you need? Basically, Jeshi, how much more do you need for engine to go completely broke? I tell him, if you let this go on a little bit more, then the engine goes broke with the oil like this uh, mixed with a uh, coolant. He's going to use a deep stick, so he's asking if he can use a piece of cloth right there. Yeah, uh, I said, no, I'm not worried. Yeah, you can use this. Mom is not going to mind this stuff. I'm not worried about mother. And he says, yeah, you have to worry about the mother. Oh, I have to worry about the mother. But this is this is a subject separate. He said it to me under MK Ultra, you shouldn't be even buying the car. You shouldn't be buying the car at all. Uh, they're going to get you. He got to know all the sellers involved in MK Ultra who Borg Pahor, Milan Kuchan have used to set me up with to either purchase me a junk or to basically harm me as much as possible. I, as I mentioned, I traveled to Maribor areas uh, to view cars and stuff like this. They did all kinds of stuff to lure me as far as possible. Uh, even tried through irregular days. Uh, so he says, uh, you got to worry about is basically mother and yourself. Well, you know, the truth is, father is also still alive. 
Um, this is just a subject separate that I'm going to say when my father moved to this village considering that the village people did not provide any kind of uh, heaven for me they didn't have to go and protect father and mother whatever uh, they could go and assist me so I don't know when you say about mother and you um, when I think about the stuff like this father is the hospital there are very very strange circumstances father created a lot of problems father was a problem absolutely uh, but then again I'm gonna say this my friend this is not up to you this is I'm gonna say not even up to me or whoever to decide about uh, it's this kind of stuff that should matter to police literally through my case if that's what would be the case I don't like people tell me uh, about what should matter what should not matter when it comes to my father uh, this is an old man he's 91 years old uh, what can one old man like do like this do against the young man in this village when it's a village like this basically you know this is another kind of problem it's neighbors it's citizens and then there is this kind of people so let's solve let's go from priority down let's go down from what the citizen regular citizens obligation is when it comes to crime when it comes to this kind of stuff then we're going to talk about what whom and this i should be worrying about and so on no he checks the oil and he's saying the oil is good so i said therefore the oil is not mixed with coolant yeah uh, if the oil is not mixed with the coolant that actually brings us closer to the theory of the police officer the police officer theory was that i'm gonna save him by my paying the mechanic who's gonna come on home and i remember this guy under mk ultra who was inside of his room with the police he interacted with the police and he was even unhappy about that he would have to give opinion professional opinion that i could use for the court i remember him being inside of this room and he was even unhappy about that he would have to give a professional opinion about so that i could use for the court i'm not saying that this is his fault like in the same form in the same way like the cases with my father this is not what i'm saying that's not what i'm saying it's very difficult to for him to do absolutely anything just you know but i'm just trying to explain what kind of shit this have grown into this kind of stuff he's gesturing that the oil is completely fine there is no there is no mixture of anything inside it. the oil is totally fine he's saying and indeed it's actually even a little bit extra oil that somebody added inside of the engine and what you got in there is actually the oil is completely completely fine this is oil it's not mixed with a coolant or anything like this and he's insisting that somebody added 
uh, a little bit extra, a little bit too much to uh, inside, yeah? What basically, what he meant by this No, I am pro is this thing here it says right that January the 3rd 2018 but this is what I have done today uh, to me I want to believe that this is actually oil mixed with Poland. to me this thing does look like a little bit oil mixed with uh, a coolant to me it does look like because it's a little bit I don't know uh mechanic it appears we have to do i threw on this on a on a, on a plate a car look with a let me demonstrate let me explain to you something yeah if you mix coolant with the oil engine you understand if you do that kind of stuff what's going to happen is going to be uh, we would do, we would mix oil with water, yeah? The coolant is uh, water-based stuff. So now let me explain to you. When I mixed oil with a water and we did that kind of stuff to create a liquid which we would use as a Orodiar working on Orodiar it's like a mechanic you would be doing a certain piece something for a machine or whatever it would be you would get an assignment and you would be using this machine with the drills and stuff like this you would have to drill things and stuff like this you would use that kind of liquid to cool uh as you say um i don't even know uh um drill let's say drill or you would uh you know it's another okay uh, it's not gonna come to me it's a lot of a lot of this stuff that uh, you can use to cool basically that you add wherever you drill something to cool uh, when it's drilling the material whatever uh, so yeah you use you take oil and you mix that with the water and you get that kind of uh, it, it gets like a soapy you know it gets like soapy I have not a knowledge that kind of stuff but I, what I did acknowledge today when I did go with the dipstick inside, in and out, that I might be actually be very close to the police theory. The police theory which insisted me during MK Ultra that as soon as I see something like this, spot something, I don't even think about driving the car. Stop driving the car. Don't drive the car anymore. If you're going to drive the car, I'm not going to take the car back was the seller who insisted on that issue and it was other people who talked about even about how long discussing this with a German all of shorts the possibility of uh, doing something like this and uh, they prorated that you can still dr how much you can drive the car like 1500 kilometers or something like this still without causing like a major damage or something like this they talk, they talk like a maximum they literally measured these issues they talk about 800 kilometer and then 1500 1500 kilometer so all of Scholz was not impressed with any of this stuff uh but the thing is that it appears to me that the seller of the car with the police that we got a little bit closer to the theory that uh, we don't want to keep the car if I recall what my mother uh, stated this is this old car we don't want to keep one and the police claimed me 
Uh, if, you, if you're going to like this car, we're going to get you another car and stuff like this. <laughs> you, you have no fucking idea what kind of insult is this for somebody. Yo, him. Life, basically, you're going to get him an old car. You're going to help him out to get the car. And so it's how nice that is, man. How nice, eh? You know. That is so nice. Uh... It appears to me that somebody, not that the cooling liquid would go inside, it would leak during driving or something like this, but it appears to me that somebody first threw some oil all over the cover of the engine that would not mix, so that would give uh, maybe even idea is it's not a mixture of uh, coolant and uh oil and it appears to me that what i have seen right there it's actually coolant that is not mixed because as i stated if you mix the coolant with uh it's also written on the internet if you mix the coolant it's it's like a soapy liquid in that case it's actually kind of a look if you look at the plate it actually look kind of a greenish like green a little bit uh, technical hmm. problem for as long as uh, one does not break itself completely so my diagnosis based on MK Ultra brainwash that's right the police told me that the coolant is gonna be a different color they told me the coolant is gonna be color pink or something like this that I'm not going to say something like this or something like that or whatever it is. I didn't even look what color is coolant, what's going on with it. Uh, when that, it's completely irrelevant. Because if you have engine and you know you're not going to run one and it's inside of that engine oil. And you, do, and you add whatever you add to it because you're not going to run one anymore because you're going to... The next thing that's going to happen is before you're going to start the car, you're going to go and you're going to you're going to change the oil anyways. This has got to be the whole uh, gasket seal that's got to be replaced also. That actually doesn't make sense. To me, this stuff doesn't look like uh, completely like oil. And at the same time, it doesn't look to me like uh, like a pure coolant or something like that. It does look greenish, doesn't it? is that they took chance and have mixed certain amount of cooling liquid with it. Uh, I think it's what I stated. I think this got something to do with the police. I think there is a chance that once I stop driving the car that eventually, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. This is going to have to go through other stuff. Let's just listen to the recording. He's saying that oil is normal, everything is okay. I, I asked him, do you think they added too much oil inside? Do you think there is like a possibility they, they just added uh, too much oil inside, inside the car? According to instructions uh, in Nazis, I got the do you think this is possible that they add too much oil inside okay ladies and gentlemen this is the last I know of this car 46 and, it, and really the car in line and the scale here so many people you're gonna fuck cool. I can tell oh, for the Really bright. Off. Well, I don't even. I don't actually know what. Ah. I just want to wiggle a little before it goes on. Uh, viscosity related oil stuff on uh, of your engine and the glasses. I don't have see there. Pretty angry. Uh, clearly that there is way 
two of my choyo if that will be a dipstick that will be way too much oil that will be added inside of the car clearly this is a maximum level you should not this here this is a minimum level should always be and this here this is actually a middle it's what you should maintain the level of the oil in this car yeah but in this case here the level is actually here it's above the maximum it's a little bit more than what he states he added a little bit too much <laughs> he added a lot too much if this is just an oil he added way too much way 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 too much but what i think this stuff is what i think this is i think this is actually something else i think that this is a mixture of a coolant with the oil but he says no it's not yeah what i say is do you think that uh, he added way too much oil and it was the engine that spit one out he said yeah i don't know if that would be exactly he says the engine with a 200,000 it's not the same as the engine with the 100,000. Motor Otega Automobile Citroën yeah. diesel. Yeah. I tell him this kind of engine, it's a diesel engine, it's 2.0 diesel engine. These are the original miles according to the first seller, which is a retired police officer. 220,000 miles engine like this uh, kilometers not miles but kilometers is good for another 300,000 without any problems you should have this is a Citroen diesel 2 liter engine should run you just by doing an oil change and stuff like this without any problems even half a million kilometers uh, the problems with an engine secure because mechanic finds uh, actually a repair guy finds uh, a paper in between on a car uh, which is claimed that has let's say 200,000 and there is a paper that suggests that is attached to the engine that he finds the service was performed at let's say 400,000 you know what I mean? Uh, this here, in this case, these are original miles. This is not from the first, actually from the second or third or fourth or fifth owner. The problems on engines like this secure when you have third, fourth, fifth owner. That's when you have a problem because you don't you have a car that you don't even have you don't even have a clue how many miles, how many kilometers the car already have made. But on a car like this, you shouldn't have a problem really with the 200,000 kilometers. That car, this car, if original kilometers, should be dandy for a lot, a lot, a lot of more kilometers. Unless that head gasket uh, filter, that, that, uh, that seal, was driven for way too long. And car was not fixed. Now that's not the issue. A Tega model, na? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tu mora prelaufat 500 tisuc, se tu kuzak hez. Na, tu je ena stvar. So pa te motori, tu po milion kilometrov. He maintains the issue that the oil is clean, that there is no mixture between engine oil and coolant, and he maintains the issue that it's just the engine has 200,000 kilometers, and it's the Citroen engines that like to leak uh, also oil. Uh, that this is not the same like a new engine or 100,000 uh, kilometers engine. That's his idea, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. If this is a little bit leaking to you on the cover, 
uh, valve cover, gasket. The only thing you do is you just go and you change this uh, seal. Uh, and basically that's all there is. There's nothing you can do. It, it came out a little bit. The seal, he said, only the seal. He says, I don't see anything else. Yeah. <laughs> He actually points me the spot where most likely this thing had lift, licked out. And I say, well, it was sold to me like this and not this close. Cool. Yeah. In, in two He says, after the time it was sold to me like this and so it's not okay like this. He says to me, he asked me, how much money did you give for this? And, well, I tell him, this was 500 euros, and he tells him, that's nothing. What do you expect? Just for this seal, he says, if you're going to complicate the court and that kind of stuff, he said the cost for this seal, the cost is just 30 euros, he says. Yeah, yeah. You just go, you buy this seal, you replace this seal. Uh, and that's basically all you do, and you have peace afterwards. Aha! Uh -huh. And this is basically where we are. You know, this is where we are. Uh, when I told you earlier about this, this, this setup. Uh, this is not about the seal. This is about other issues that are involved in this stuff. Now, yes, maybe even this car is a very good car. De facto, however, I do not know what kind of car it is because of a lot of things that was not disclosed, just as the rust was not disclosed. Contrary, it was stated the car is without the rust. And the damage, the hail damage, was nowhere uh, demonstrated on the pictures so that you could come uh, to realize just to what extent the hail damage was done on the car. You understand me what I'm saying? And now you have a blown gasket uh, and you don't know any, you don't know anything about what the actual damage, how much damage was done to uh, to the engine when driving when she was driving with blown gasket. Um, there was all kinds of stuff that under MK Ultra, as I stated. However, it's about. A lot of other issues. It's about stealing my time. It's about causing me damage after all. It's about having somebody inside of the garage who previously had inspected this very car inside of this garage, who was completely familiarized with condition of the car, who is actually saying, well, just go and you buy this and you fix this and so on and so forth maybe maybe this car is actually worth it doing that kind of stuff maybe it's even worth it doing that kind of stuff but this is about other issues this is about the issues that have taken away from me 28 years of life and this is about the issues that involved andre all as i stated if you're gonna go and you're gonna fix this we're going to come in your home and we're going to fuck you up the car. We're going to do something else and so on and so forth. This is about the issue which he brought in the home. Pointing out how he's got a pain in the knees and the elbows and stuff like this. And that if I will say this kind of stuff. I'm never going to make it. Because it's coordinated with the stuff from the neighbor from... Zupancic, 
And it was the stuff that was engineered by the Miroslav Berger. I will not forget the day when they got together and they figure out the way how they're all going to bail each other. One is going to bail another out. And so why the fuck do you go and you throw yourself under the bus for these people? And you come in my house and you say basically as a friend and you say, hey, it's only 30 euros. Fix it, basically, and so on and so forth. You know, Mr. Sinitcher, you understand my point. You know my point. You get my point. He's saying it's old, it's worn out, it's old, it's normal, the Citroën. It gets, it gets old, it gets hard, and it doesn't hold. He says the Citroen cars like to get oily, and it's nothing bad. It's just a little drops that are let out. This guy actually likes French cars very much. This is not the guy that... This guy drives French cars, Renault and so on. Doesn't have nothing against French cars or something, but... <laughs> he says the oil and this and that. What's, what's oil, you know? And let me hear what I stated to him. Um, the oil, the oil I have stated, as far as the oil, the oil I stated it was a half a liter of oil that was missing. Uh, that was thrown out and uh, yeah I would say between half a liter and one liter okay the amount of oil that was spilled all over the place uh, so he says he said to me if it would be so much oil uh, somebody would have to hold on <laughs> He says it would be so much oil that you're saying, because eh? I didn't specify the amount of oil. Uh, he said, but it would be so much oil that you're saying uh, it would be missing from the engine. It would be missing from the engine. So he firmly is insisting that the oil that is thrown all over the engine and that was spit, spilled in front of the entrance to the house uh, is a small amount of it and, and uh, obviously we're talking about the oil and what you have seen with your own eyes the dipstick when I measured one how the hell could it be? Because it's still the level of the oil. It still ranges much higher than a maximum allowed amount of engine oil for the car. You know what I mean? So, well, that's exactly the way it was right there and right then also when he was doing this kind of stuff. So I don't get his what he's saying actually. Yeah. <laughs> says, says, uh, yeah. And I say, and I say, listen, I don't know if there was not somebody else that came afterwards and added oil into the engine. I'm not here all the time. I say this to him. I'm not all the time at home. I don't know. Maybe it was somebody who 
you know, as he says, if it would be so much, it would, the oil would be missing. And I say, well, I don't know if actually somebody didn't come and add oil, since I am not at home all the time. I said, if it was so much oil, and it was a whole puddle of oil under the car, under the engine, um, you know, and he says, well, it's, uh, uh, it, it was, um, it was dripping from down, you know, it was dripping down, well, under the, under the engine, it was dripping down under the engine is what he says. I tell him that's not normal, eh? that you would have so much oil under the car uh, by committing yourself to the trip to Brezhitz and back, which is, I don't know, maybe 120, 140 kilometers or something like that. Eh? I tell him that this, this are, it was a paddle of oil, huh? a paddle of oil under the car. He says, I see, I see, I see, he's saying, these are not, I say to him, these are not the drops, it, these are puddles of oil, right? And I say, this is, this is not drops, we can clearly said based on what we see it's completely uh, flooded with oil he says I don't know and I said when, and when you look at there you can see that the oil that was uh, you know, since he asked me earlier, you know, earlier he said, he said earlier he said, well, a cooling liquid stick out. The, in a certain area, it appears that somebody pulled or pulled the uh, oil even out. Is somebody would go with uh, something? and uh, clean the oil out already you know and i said and you see over there it's oil and right there it appears as if somebody uh is is missing over there right so i said why is this i said i didn't do this kind of stuff because earlier he said uh you know who would have done this and this and that yeah I said, right there, as you see it, it looks like if somebody would be pulling out the oil. If somebody would be would be cleaning out the oil, the pot, paddle, puddle of the oil. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I, I tell him, not me. I didn't do it. He says, I didn't do it either, he says. So I said, but... Uh, somebody was taking, was cleaning this from the engine yeah. because there was more oil there yeah. and he says but who, who, who could have possibly come here yeah who could possibly come here according to MK Ultra if you will ask me who would possibly come here and you will and you will say it's a police or something like this, it's a schizophrenia, it's a schizophrenia, it's a schizophrenia and that kind of stuff. You know, so that's basically where I stop. I want him to acknowledge that stuff. And that's what I stop. It will be some sure. And I say, who would come here? Ha, huh. uh, we had people here. Uh, he knows all about who was here. I am not crazy. I'm going to go into discussion with him about who would come here. He alone during MK Ultra was here. Not that he did this stuff, this guy. This guy would have not done stuff like this. That's one of the things. He would have not done stuff like this. But 
you have Andre Uhl, the next door, you have a police, you have people that come and go. People. Yeah. Never. I said to him, I have no idea. I said, that's something I don't know. He says, and then there is nothing. Yeah, and then, then there is nothing. He says, it's just this thing, it didn't go from down below, but only from above, that's all there is to it. If it would be the one from below, it would be just uh, dripping from below. But this one is from the top, he says. This is a seal of uh, the cover of the valves. What he is saying to me right now is actually repeating the words from what was MK Ultra. Okay, under MK Ultra is basically what he stated. What you are about to hear next. Uh, the oil cannot flow upwards. Uh, obviously not. Uh, this is what he involved in MK Ultra. I told you this was this. He rehearsed this, exactly this examination of the car already during the MK Ultra. No fluid ever will, did ever go upwards. All the fluids always flow downwards, unless they are under the pressure. <laughs> well, okay, thank you. Definitely no than amore. Yeah. He makes a very, very heavy argument about this stuff. It's not difficult to understand. Uh, and I recall this kind of stuff from his under MK Ultra brainwash. Well, you know, I did explain what exhibitionism is in this case. When you do the stuff like this, when you make an argument like this, um... Think about what I stated earlier. In 2011, the lady failed to do the service required. I think it was for the cooling liquid or whatever it was. The car got overheated and it blew the engine gasket. Uh, the car had at the time 130 thousand kilometers um, 2011 it was and I said to him I didn't mention any of this stuff I mentioned to him right now uh, since he's, she talks about the block and stuff like this I said to him oh, that they so they, they fix that stuff so they fix that up but the thing is from 130,000 up to now it's another 90,000 kilometers that she made since on, with this car since 2011 2012 in 2012 when it blew her 
kakšno advokat, pa vse to, da več za testo, kot je to tisnilo vredno. He says, for this kind of price, for these things, nobody's going to do anything about it. You're going to lose more money on a lawyer and everything than if you would go to purchase yourself this seal and replace one. It's not worth it anything, he says. Zakaj? No, zdaj, jedin, če se tako vedva zma interes, da na pokrobi bo le tari pač... Veš, da imamo gor vreme kao. I said, let's go upstairs, let's go for a coffee. Um... He says, unless you, the two of you are going to make an agreement that if the oil is leaking and da-da-da-da-da-da-da, aha, we go to agreement, we go to agreement, okay, okay, let's go to agreement. An agreement was like this, the seller stated, that the only thing you're going to do is, she would give me another hundred euros, you would communicate with the phone, uh, meaning that she fully, fully, fully acknowledged that the seal on the car uh, would be damaged. What exactly that means is that either they have even replaced the seal she had before she put the car, she placed the car on sale, or um, they caused damage to the seal so that they they would trigger the memories on me on 2011 2012 when she failed to substitute uh, the seal for the engine cover right but she stayed on the mk ultra to me uh once you're going to repair that the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to go ahead and you're going to uh tell me about this i'm going to pay this hundred euros more and that's about it that's what she stated So, more likely than not, nobody came to do the damage inside of the house. Uh, the lady have sold the car like this. Uh, and now, really, really, everything is between, you know. Ne, fejt, fejt, gremo nekaj po pet, no, Madonna, no, dej, dej, dej. Aj, sem vizela jaz, ko sem spil, ko sem... Pa bo pa še enega tazga, ki ga jaz pripravim, tisto, ki jaz pripravim. He says, I just had a coffee right now. I said, come on, but not like the one I prepared. Let's go and have a drink. Come on. Probably Marshall. Let's hear speak. Let's hear speak. Yeah. Yeah, Pileto in a beauty. Pileto in a beauty, sir. Ne, veš, koga je? Stvar je taka, da... A, poglej tole, poglej tole, recimo, ne? Recimo, ne? Poglej, recimo tole, ne? Toča, to nimaš, kaj, to je blok. Toča, ja, toča, ne? Ja, ampak, ampak... In s tebe hladim to, to je... Ja, ampak, ampak tole, ne? Tole poglej, ne? Tole poglej, koga je tam, ne? Ja. I demonstrate him the hail on the car and basically when it comes to the hail he said there was a hail and uh, uh, it was uh, beating up the car from all over the place uh, instead what he does is he reminds me of the car which became involved in MK Ultra listen to this Tako, ne? In, in, uh, he says, thanks God, he says it's possible that also, like pointing out that there was not damage on my car, such, with the broken windows and stuff like this. Uh, he says, however, it's also possible that it broke some, some window at the time. So, you see, he's talking all of a sudden about some completely other non-related to my car damage, such as broken window. And he's trying to remind me of another car, which I disliked under MK Ultra. I didn't want to have absolutely anything to do with it. And uh, when they presented me this car as the car and so on, I dismissed one. Uh, they started to torture me. And it was just a few days later, a brand new Fiat 
that a heavy thunderstorm hail got one right here in Nova Mesa, which we just don't have this kind of stuff. It just never happened before. But it was that car, that particular car, because of which they engaged in torture again against me. They were beating me up because I didn't like that car. That completely, completely destroyed that car. No, this is actually real. It says not not the lady didn't mention anything about the broken windows. In Shantirne, in Shantirne was a, such a terrible uh, hail a few years ago. Well, I don't know anything about a few years ago. If I go back in time, I think the year was 2012, I think, when they purchased that Fiat. And it, or maybe, I don't know, maybe even 2015, 2012, whatever. And it's exactly what I stated. The car was almost brand new, this Fiat, and it was destroyed by the thunder, by the by the hail. Fiat Panda it was. We had in the hospital this Fiat Panda. Uh, there was somebody else who bought this in Schmichel, this Panda. I think 2012 it was. Yeah. Uh, there was this Fiat Panda that the hospital purchased, General Hospital here in Novo Mesto. Probably they got it at a discounted rate and they performed on me a good deal of torture, beating. And I cursed that car, I cursed them out. But they got a new car. And the only thing that happened was it was a thunder that came after maybe just a few months, maybe two months or something like this. And it was just, frrr, it shredded the fucking car that had a holes on the roof, that Fiat. That's the only thing that happened with that car. And they got their Fiat. Yeah, I remember this. He actually reminded me of this. You see, he reminded me of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He says, he started talking about how to repair this, that they have people that they can repair this and that. I already tell them, I bought this already myself, 50 euros I've spent on a repair kit. Uh, and I myself know how to do that stuff just fine. Yeah, no, 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 I, I tell him I do this better than professional mechanics can do that kind of stuff. No, I have never done this kind of stuff. I've never done this repairs, but I know that when I put uh, eyes on something, uh, what I stated to you, it's actually true. I tell him, you know, it's not a problem, this stuff. Uh, I was willing to accept, I accepted this, that the car was in in a bad shape body wise from damage from hail it's an old car and all that stuff because from the point of view that i want to keep this car for myself i want to keep this car i want this car to be with me for some time more uh but the lady the lady just didn't disclose me also the problem with an engine okay she was silent about degree of damage 
on a body itself and she went further on to be even silent about the engine uh, remember i asked her to lower the price for another 100 euros when i was there she wouldn't even lower for 100 euros the price in the benster auto nima riavina in the auto riau eh ci gavoce smet vese 30 let zas al pacelu 50 let al kulkia ne ne jes ga dobe se da zato što kupi zato sam ga šokupet, poslušaj. Jaz ga nisem šokupet za... Zato da bi ga kupil, veš, pa da bi ga potisil. Zdaj ga imamo lahko tam nekaj dole, ne? Lahko to do dole, lahko pa tudi tle, ne? Ne, zdaj, jaz dole je nekaj tudi. Nače boš brezkoce, povej, ker ti jara boš, pa bom jaz umel, pa nače tam. Pa kavo pa pravim, pa tako, ne? Čaš je malo. Okay, listen, we go and drink coffee. I think that this was completely all right. I didn't mention any of this stuff. Here is when we talk more about this stuff about... Yeah. Now, I was not kidding with him. I, I just uh, thought the best advice I could give one would be to just wear something warm all the time, even on a hot summer day. If you have a problem with your knees, with your elbows, know that elbows, knees, zglobi in Slovenskim meziku, um, it's where we sweat the most. Uh, if you're riding a bike, this, this areas where you know, this area, or knees, is where the body sweats the most. You can look at the statistics. And then, consequently, what happens is, uh, you can have uh, rheumatism-related problems. I also told him that uh, I got some kind of antibiotics uh, from a physician when I was 13, 14 years old uh, and couldn't walk in the morning and I couldn't actually sleep from the pain at night uh, and it was a lady a physician that prescribed some kind of antibiotics uh, and that stuff worked and even more that worked was for me to always keep long sleeves uh, long pants uh, even on a summer day basically became my habit because the pain was just too much to deal with and I was into sports uh, I was heavily into sports and I didn't want to compromise world of sports uh, exercise physical exercise it's not good when you do the push-ups and you have a pain in your elbows and stuff like this that's not good that's a bad stuff or you should go running and stuff and you cannot because if you have pain in your uh, knees it's better to just wear long stuff all the time a little sacrifice and uh, it's worthy I recommend that to everybody his problem however is thick appears to have a Lyme disease the problem is that however you have heard he got this since two months ago well it's the stuff that he find out about he started to deal with that problem minimum since 2019 but I think maximum he learned about this problem the year was 2018 when it comes to Zupancic you are about to hear next that's my neighbor who wanted to bail himself out literally to negotiate with me at the court of law together with the quarter with the burger they design a scenario on how they're going to use this mechanic my friend who came to inspect this car to bail themselves out from the crimes they did to me but like i stated this village has some real problems they got some serious explanations they have to make 
There is some serious explanations there are due. They are due to give some serious explanations about other issues that involved and it was all kinds of stuff that went on from physical abuse, beatings, death threats, uh, torture inside of this house, outside of this house, in the village, all over the village and giving the silicon masks to Serbs so they could torture in Serbia and Bosnian and Serbian parts of Bosnia and have arrived to Bosnia to support, really appear there, to give a support, to give a psychological support to abusers, to torturers for the crime against me. So this village has a long way to go in every aspect. As much as this individual is my friend, I don't like people throwing themselves under the bus for the sake of the enemy. I don't like that. I live here, this is my home, this is my country, not only home. And when you do the stuff like this, you got to understand that you passed into completely XYZ, whatever area, into area of unknown, I am not going to tolerate. That's where friendship stops, basically, and Firmly, I'm gonna. I make a firm commitment to stop that kind of stuff because I do not tolerate paranoid schizophrenia diagnosis, or I should say, I do not tolerate political exhibitionism. I don't tolerate violence. I don't tolerate paranoid schizophrenia. What you are doing is you are trying to violently even negotiate with me, whom you have stolen 28 years of life with inflicting crime against me through the paranoia, through the schizophrenia. You tortured me. You abused me. You wanted me to look like a schizophrenic. And I lost because of you 28 years of life. I will not tolerate that. I will not negotiate with that stuff. I told you, at the beginning of several times I warned about this video. You're going to have to give a better proof to the countries around here, to the countries inside of the European Union, to the world. I don't agree. I don't consent. As simple as this. The next recording involves this individual here. This is the individual here, this is a Jupanchic, older one, this guy here, uh, father-in-law from Donnacolens, I, I think I have spoken about the guy tremendously a lot. The guy who engaged constantly in torture against me inside of the house was in Poland. I don't have a single word, single good word I would say about this criminal, uh, demanded from me in front of other neighbors to see in him a police director, Janus Ogulin, a good friend of Janus Ogulin, he is. In 97 and 98, the police gave him a taser. He would literally use on me, hijacked from United States, walk me to this uh, workshop here, uh, and basically, me in front of his relatives, dare me, because Slovenian government, Milan Kucho, Kuchan anticipated my return from United States of America way, way, way earlier, in, as early as in 97, 98, after two years of stay in the U.S. However, I refused. And so if I would return back back then, recognizing this guy, who was engaging himself in a physical violence on me, probably it would be sure I would be a short story with a police coming to his rescue in a record short time. A uh, Ukrainian whom I have identified not too long ago in front of the Kulandia knew this thug here and actually grabbed him one, one time. Uh, met him right here at the forest, him and me, we were in the forest, 
and he would go do something to me and the Ukrainian guy grabbed him and whip his ass. Well, the Ukrainian guy who was MK Ultra staff member from Ukraine got in trouble because it was immediately the police that came to the rescue to this thug. His name is Don Nicolens, uh, and his father-in-law, if you like, is Hans Zupancic, this guy here. And in this scenario, just like he stated, he would involve Miroslav Berger and the Kotar. Uh, they orchestrated exactly, they replicated torture which involved MK Ultra, uh, in which, during which Miroslav Berger and uh, Kotar returned from the city. And you're going to hear him saying, oh, this is my friend, this is my friend, he is my friend, and he is my friend, and so on and so forth. He insists on it. Uh, by what he translated to me, he is going to give me a proof. How do we know? How do you know each other? He's got this British hat on him and stuff like this. You know, like, it's an assistance to you, something like this. We're going to recognize that, uh, that, However, there is a connection between us and this and that. Um, but then on the other hand, just like my father in the hospital, this guy, when I asked him, and how you said you're going you're gonna to fuck me under MK Ultra, how? You said you go, I'm going to go against you. Why would I go and jump in you and this and that and so on and so forth? Why Why would I do this? It didn't make any sense to me. No, what he did was, he, you know, when he said, and what you're going to do is you're going to say that uh, I had this stuff already in 2015 with the leg and this and that and tra, 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 tra. And that is going to be a paranoid schizophrenia. So this guy was making a fun out of me. He was making a fun out of my psychiatric hospitalization. When I was brought from the psychiatric hospital, this was the guy that actually had a joy. Funny thing to meet him on a street and say, hey, hi, how are you? You know, and, and get you in a, in a hands and insist that you are a dead a live dead man walking basically uh, during the rehearsal what you are about to hear under MK Ultra he actually even reminded me of the bad stuff he did to me he counted of the bad stuff to me giving me the reasons why I will jump into him when we will meet sometimes in the future when he will pull this kind of crime against me well, the thing about it is that he completely ridiculed himself together with his daughter. This recording goes back to September the 27th of 2022. And uh, that's just, uh, what, exactly five days, maybe, a week ago. It's fresh. Okay, there you go. Take all of over the... I come from the city and I meet uh, my neighbor, Hans Zupancic. There you go. Let's talk business. Hello. I say hello. The first I say hello. I say hi, how are you? Yeah, it's fine, huh? You know what, what I'm going to do is actually I'll go ahead like this. This is um, something like that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just quickly amplify this stuff to something like this. It's going to be helpful. Good size, huh?
Oh, listen up. What I'm going to say in respect to mechanic here from the village, the friend of mine, I'm going to say like this. Um, this guy always helped me out. Whatever I came to him, this guy never said no to me. He's got a nice brothers. Everything okay. Uh, but this is the kind of stuff simply I will not allow. You will treat me like you treat your wife like you treat your daughter like you would like to be treated as a neighbor that's the end of it that's it nothing less than this nothing less than this and if you want to be the bridge between the miroslav berger and zupancic here kench kolens and so on then you're going to be treated the same way that's all i wanted to say that's all there is to it It's that familiar stuff that police, yeah, that it, this is. Done. Well done. I say good day to you and then I ask hi how are you and he goes back with a hi how are you he is right there um, this man does it in a, such a way that when you go you will not turn inside here without he's gonna stand right there that you see and he's gonna look at you like this already from the distance is he gonna approach like this he's gonna be right there and he's gonna be checking on you as you approach basically this is just gonna be this is just a part of his uh, regular procedure I mean you're not gonna be able to to take uh, your eyes of you he will be greeting you with uh, And it's going to be it, basically. Okay, so you know what? Uh, I expressed uh, good day. Hi, how are you? And this is how things develop. Uh, we. Aha, uh -huh, let's see this. Good size, huh? I said, uh, good weather outside, right? He says, it's a nice weather, yeah, long time already, you know, like this. Uh, let's see this. Uh, what he said, uh, uh, probably what he troubles me or something like this, in, in, in that sense, I don't know. Uh, and so I, I say to him, I answer to him, you know, the truth is that I don't have anything to complain about. Uh, when I did complain, you guys were not interested very much. Well done. Good. Good size, huh? You know the shop, huh? Uh, he said, uh, well, basically, how is with you if you have something to tell in that sense? And I said, I have nothing really to, to complain about uh, when I actually was complaining about, and it is true. <laughs> I was actually even complaining to them on how they threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital during the forced hospitalization to Ljubljana Polje. 
and uh, this guy did not express any kind of interest sympathy the only thing that was that came from them not only from him but from them collectively was basically like well that's life what can we do he says uh, sometimes uh, we we say hello to each other and sometimes we don't uh, we don't see each other. I say to him, you know, uh, times are changing. <laughs> so he is laughing. And I say to him, for everybody is like this, I tell him. And he's laughing. He says, times are changing. <laughs> He knows exactly what I mean, and I, but I say, well, sometimes it's summer, sometimes it's fall, sometimes it's winter, whatever. Uh, he says, you know, we already got used to, used to it, these things, you know, but it's very different from uh, what it used to be. And I say, in what sense? He's talking about the rain. Okay, so we're talking about the rain now. Weather. Atmospheric conditions outside. So he's going to talk about the snow, that sometimes there was no cars, you had to walk to your work, and it was up to one meter snow. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, I tell him, yeah, it was really difficult. It was really, weather was completely different. We had, you know, different weather conditions. We're facing a global warming at this point. I tell him, you know, if you're in the city of the Novomest, uh, practically any of work here, the next door we have, a, I don't say this, but this is true, half an hour away, 45 minutes away from here, it's a Renault company, a few thousand people, um, just about maybe, well, half an hour from here, 20 minutes from here, it's Gurkha Pharmaceutical, also a few thousand people. So, if you live here and you have work inside of the city, I tell them, you don't even need a car. But yeah, if you go to Berlin, I agree, that's a different distance. And with a, such a snow, with all that stuff, before you even get to work, uh, you people did face a lot of problems without transportation. Yeah, totally different weather conditions than we are facing during the global warming. Yeah, Uh, he was uh, driving a car for 60 years, no less, 60 years, and he's 92. 
Yeah. Yeah, ask him about how old he think I am. Uh, he is, and I say you're probably 89. He says in December I'm gonna be 91 year old. Yeah, basically the same age like my father. He's in a really good shape, so I said, you're in a really, really good shape. I see a lot of people that are not in a such a good shape, uh, but you look in a such a good shape. And uh, yeah, I deem that older people should be in a better shape, that they should be exercising, doing more stuff, really. <laughs> So he gives me a lot of uh, how the health, he's healthy, he walks around, exercises, he looks in a good shape. And I salute this, you know, I cheer him that he's in a good shape. And I accent that he's in a much better shape than older people, that I admire one how he takes care of himself with exercise and so on. Uh, a, a car, interesting stuff, the car which had a steering wheel located on the left hand passes next to us, you know, and I say this must be a British car. Not it would be a car from Britain, but the steering wheel was located on the left side. In Europe, continental Europe, we have the steering wheel located on the right side, as you know. The neighbor at the same time, he's got a cap with a British flag on it. He's got a British emblem on it. The neighbor, Hench. And I tell him, you know why? You also are in such a good shape. You're also in a such a good shape because it was your wife that take care of you so well. Your wife was at home and she cooked the best food, natural food, healthy food. So that's also what helped you out. I tell them she had housekeeping completely under control always prepared food whenever you came home you had the best food that awaited you you are probably gonna leave another hundred years i tell them joking a little bit Uh, we eat separately, we prepare separately the stuff, no, we actually eat whatever together or whatever and the deer we have separately. She's 88 years old too, she, he says. He's also in a good shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
uh, he is now talking about the brother. Uh, the brother is 94 year old. The brother is 94 year old and he's in a home for elderly people. And I ask him, do you go to visit him walking? He says, no. I, uh, he says, how far can you get like this walking at your age? And he says, no, I can only walk if it's flat. I cannot go uphill or downhill. I ask him, when you do your exercise, when you are walking, do you have a problem with your veins? Uh, he says he's got a hole in his leg and uh, it just came out of nowhere and I said wow how how is that possible wow yeah. He shows me a leg and the leg is all dark. Uh, he removes the socks and shows me the leg close to the foot. It's almost kind of a dark brown. He's got a lady that comes to uh, help him out with it like a nurse that comes to clean the wound Nurse comes at home to clean his wound to take care of him, drives to him at home. Uh, this nurse eventually, it happened so, was involved in this thing. Uh, did not like me, uh, gave no freaking chance that if I would mention her, uh, that I would ever make it. She was involved in this stuff already since, it, it you know, when she was paying this kind of visitations, I got an idea that he earned this kind of visitations through crime against me. No, probably this is a normal procedure now here in Slovenia that they come in and home and they take care of you and that kind of stuff. But uh, under MK Ultra, it appeared so actually exclusive that you have somebody coming at home and taking care and this and that. This nurse. I don't know. This nurse is somewhere from uh, right here, somewhere from. Uh, I have no idea. I would have to meet her and talk to her and blah blah blah. It was so many people involved. I didn't even see her. I got yet to have to see her or whatever. She was doing this kind of stuff. She started to do this kind of stuff sometimes in 2018, something like this, you know. 2018 something like this I would I would say um, they were friends already for some time and um, what I can tell about this nurse I don't know she's got a yeah, they have a house, they have a home, house at home.
blondie I think actually a blondie light-skinned girl this nurse I gotta see you next time when she comes we're gonna check this out a female nurse I was gonna say Podgoria, Podgoria somewhere, but I'm not so sure. He says, it's a year now, it's a year now like this, uh, he's talking about how, what the doctor told him, when you get this kind of stuff, it's easy to heal, but when something happens out of nowhere, it's impossible to even heal, and he's giving all kinds of stories, but I patiently pay respect to man, elderly man, in December he's going to be 91, and I listen despite all the shit, everything I have gone through with him. Now he's talking about how he went to the doctor not too far and went back and forth and he got uh, affected his uh, just on his own it started this problem it appeared out of nowhere this is actually an important recording because it proves my behavior compared to his behavior you're gonna see actually how this recording is gonna end it started with intensity and I turned it in a nice way as much as possible but you're gonna see how it's gonna end <laughs> I tell him, listen, the problem you're talking about, you had this already in 2017. Because I say this because he mentioned, he said, from one year ago. So, I'm saying to him, well, what you have already you had in 2017, at least. Now he had this already in 2015. He says uh, this this happens from age or something like this. Older people get this kind of stuff. I said, you know, you had this stuff actually, as a matter of fact, in 2015, not even 2017. This appeared to you in 2015. Right, 
Right there, Snow. Where are you? Are you seeing? Yeah, yeah. Are you seeing? Yeah, for sure. And they've been with that, no? I'm going to lay a couple of years as well. A one year ago, since one year ago, he's got a problem. So we have the same, the same, the same issue as with the tick problem. We have the same thing, the same timing, the same thing problem with the elbows, with the knees. And this elderly man, however, is talking about the foot. There is just a hole that appeared to him since a year ago that he is suffering from. Problem with the foot. Something is just hmm, gnoina is just uh, inflammating himself on his foot and doesn't give him break the nurse keep coming and is cleaning his wound uh, and so that this thing would heal yeah on his foot but one year ago one year ago this year this year now he spoke about what a doctor gave him a recipe to go do some x-raying surgery and that kind of stuff and he didn't he go he exercised he walks he tells me he walks and he's exercising and I said to him, and you have not taken any x-rays yet? He says, no, not at all. Well, that's interesting. I said, you had this hall, you have these things. Have you not x-ray yourself to see what you have? She said, no, not at all. Uh, what he has on the foot really looks terrible. Uh, it's it's his um, it's his daughter. Just as uh, she told me, the case is going to be she she's going to be cleaning the windows. Yeah, this is this was the scenario that if you will say that you know that you have uh, this for so long, it's going to be schizophrenia. It's going to be schizophrenia. So. Yeah, but to ye, to ye, to ku bere, ko an ma grazno zgleda noga. Noga zgrazno zgleda. I don't know what uh, the daughter says out of age or whatever. I say this is just terrible the way it looks like. I suppose it's not the way he said for the age for my age that's normal it's normal this is in a family he says from the older daughter father he's got even worse issue uh, due to his age no, sir, but you have to do something about it. You can't be playing with this. Yeah. 
Essa borboleta deu uma sagrada. Mata mal os trajes, que é bonito. Eu disse, então, por que não você vai e você x-ray se você fazer a examinação para ver o que está acontecendo? Eu disse, você está afraid of physicians, doctors ou algo assim? Ele disse, não, 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 eu não estou. Você está fazendo tudo bem? Você está fazendo tudo bem? Sua filha, essa é a filha de Dona Nicolena, está dizendo que isso é from the veins. Tam tu je kost, u kosti se nabila luknuta. Nešto več za to, to je pa iznutra. Tako lukem za batu kar čez, ali kaj? Aha, flat. A ja, ja, ja. Jaz nisem razlovno pravzal. Aha. Gnojno pa se ne začel. He doesn't have a hall, you know, I understood it's a hall. Uh, this is a really, really using a language that is very, very strange language, right? Uh, doing this to trigger this MK Ultra brainwash, basically. Uh, hall, hall, you know, hall is like you have a hall. Hall is a hall that you can actually maybe even see through a hall. If you cannot see through, you can see, let's say, a hall, right? That's a hall. But he doesn't have a hall. He's got a wound that is just not uh, recovering itself. But he referred to one as a hole. This is completely like MK Ultra language, basically using a stuff like this to trigger my memory. This is a Miroslav Berger scenario. Uh, they are assuring me that his wound already is improving, that is not so bad. It's already red, she's saying. It's no longer white. Red is already good, is recovering. White, that is just this infection. That is just this pus. Yeah, pus would be the proper word. Pus is no good, white is no good, but the red is already good. Now, again, this again was involved in MK Ultra. This is again MK Ultra language. Of course, this is the way also to describe the stuff. Uh, that's how they described one to me, but they tried to uh, create the issue out of this in a such a way that would be impossible to not trigger the memories in me. Eh, my memories are okay. Um, Igor Kotra stated to me, for occasion like this, if it's gonna happen, he would sit in the car, literally, and take a ride literally through the village go behind the slotnik all around through smolenia gora and uh, drive past our house before he would turn uh back into his street yeah let me demonstrate to you this is the house here his house this is our house basically he's right here in front of us. Uh, to get to Igor Kotar, however, you would turn into this street, right? So you would pass our house and his house, and then you would turn into this street. But Igor Kotar has a capacity to depart his property and go around from the other direction and then go that way around and make a big circle all around and then come from uh, this road again here pass and go here that's what he stated for this MK Ultra scenario he will do let's go on yeah 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 yeah, yeah. red is blood red is blood is healing yes, 
He reminds of the scenario which involved, I don't know what occasion, he got me with him, uh, the physician, and this was just one instance, and I suggest already the Slovenian state have committed probably over one, one million crimes against me during this MK Ultra and in real time at least one million crimes serious crimes crimes that if you would commit if uh, sentenced on a on a court for each of those crimes I don't know how you, much you get for corruption for embezzlement for um, I wouldn't generalize all these crimes because they fall into different groups, categories. But when I say million crimes, death threats, you already know, in the United States of America equals to maybe five-year jail sentence each. When it comes to stuff that you're about to hear, like you did if you speak Slovenian language. A physician asked whether you have some other disease. As I came to, I don't know, vaccinate himself or whatever he went, whatever the issue was, he had me with him. Whatever, whatever the issue was. And uh, they wanted me, this is the least thing. I told you about the hospital, what they did to me in General Hospital, Novel Mess. I told you about Home for Elderly, that they had me tied up, actually. That they feed me literally through the mouth with the tube. I told you about that kind of stuff. The stuff that really goes into, into a torture areas. Uh, tied on my hands, uh, a racket's deliberately for no reason uh, so that I could not uh, free myself and so on from the bed and stuff like this tie me up to the bed basically more insane shit was done to me inside of the home for elderly people inside of the general hospital novel master during MK Ultra, than they have done to me inside of the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Poly. If you understand what the fuck I'm talking about. More crazy stuff. Torture, real torture they have performed. So what this guy is saying, he is happy when he's saying this because he wants to remind me. He's saying that physician, that's, he had me next to him, it was a physician, he told me, you have to listen, you have to listen. The two engage with one another. Make him listen, make him listen. So I listened. So it was the doctor who asked him, do you have some other diseases and so on? And he said, nothing. Uh, and uh, I don't know. 
uh, as long as he would just stay like this. And, and when you hear him saying this, so he's just so happy, laughing. I would actually say kind of crazy laughing from his satisfaction he got in that. Uh, if it will only stay the way it is, As long as I'm alive, he says. And she was laughing and she said, yes, that you stated the right way. And in between, this is the shit that take place when I was inside of the psychiatric hospital. Uh, released probably at home from the psychiatric hospital when I had to go with him. Uh, these people always guaranteed me you're never gonna make it you're never gonna get through with it and this stuff here because you're about to hear is gonna be Berger it's gonna come next to it it's gonna be Kotra they're gonna come to but this is gonna be like actually my help to me the way out assistance before they started with this shit uh, they didn't know what the fuck to do to bail themselves out of this problem and so they hired this friend of mine who came to inspect the car here in the house. That I'm going to stop at just by saying don't put your nose into something that is not your business. Simple as this. Actually, so that's not going to become something else your business. It, because this is just, you know, let's just keep it at what I stated and nothing more than that. This guy committed a number of crimes. What you hear this right now, to him this is like, yeah, 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 he's going to go off at one point and something like this. To me that's actually nothing. It's zero point nothing. What he's talking about is uh, mouse shit. It's nothing compared to the stuff that was done to me. Even he actually have done really, really bad stuff to me. It's the guy I had to go to Belgrade with. So he met the people, I don't know, he was in the military with one time. He spoke to me about uh, Belgrade that he was and so on and so forth. I wouldn't waste my breath on this. No time. The point here is to demonstrate that I'm polite, that I interact with him nicely, I'm concerned, I ask questions and you need to see basically how this conversation is going to end. He got his kit, he has his laughter. He's got this thing no longer than one year. Actually, really, he got this in 2016 to be completely, completely correct about. It was one day that his daughter, the one that is cleaning the windows, they had me under MK Ultra, and I was outside. And they were picking up whatever, they were picking up the fruit here in this area, mom, whatever they did, in the garden. And uh, this daughter spent a lot of time with my mom, just like uh, the daughter from the lady who passed away spent, this one here, spent a lot of time here, playing with me inside here, during MK Ultra, uh, helping mother to pick up the apples and stuff like this, whatever they were up to. Uh, and she was all fucking worried. It must have been 2016. She was scared to death. My father has this and that. My father has this and that. 2016, not 2017, but 2016, I would say. Right here. Okay. So. Yeah, 
on on the tutoriaku de and what i do is he goes on with his schizophrenia scenario and the only thing i say is you know he says one year and i say oh yeah i say you know the signature you know he says yes he says he also said that he just got this problem with elbows with the knees that he's got a pain and this and that uh and in reality it was a thick problem that he got already i hope i stated in 2018 maximum 2019 2019 2018 he's got this problem you know who Peter Kapsch, a psychiatrist, demanded from me for that nurse that comes to visit him to know where she is from and where her husband is from. And they were showing me uh, their homes and this and that. So you know that this is what psychiatrists, Miroslav Berger, all these people here caught and so on, they anticipated they're going to use like a, this, like a, like an exit scenario that basically they will recognize you, recognize you. Man, uh, I have a, such an allergy when it comes to the difference in my case between admission into crime and recognizing something. I fully understand that admitting crime is not in your interest. I fully understand that. However, you have to understand that in my interest, under no circumstances, it's going to be for you to recognize something that I have gone through hell already that is a fact undisputable. Uh, and in fact, it's something that you're going to use to advance your criminal agenda even further. You ruined my life. You murdered me, basically. You took away from me 28 years did it it's not gonna happen any of that stuff now I start to torment him psychologically and I go very slowly I start to explain to him acting even a little bit confused talking to him about how first catch myself a little bit about his name because these are brothers these Sinatra people uh, and just to get his attention you know because he had a, such a beautiful laughter uh and he is catching the signal he's listening you know and the, the daughter who is cleaning the window she, she's still cleaning the window the same window <laughs> she's it's like a, she says joseph is it's a joseph that that has a problem with the knees and i'm like yeah you know yeah <laughs> he said his brother stated uh, that actually was a, a tick that uh, they learned about, uh, they, they just learned about that he had a tick. And I said, uh, I, in my opinion, I say that, because I want to confuse him even a little bit more, <laughs> I say to him, it's actually, you know, the same case like yourself. Huh? And I do say something stupid like this deliberately to see his reaction because there really is no relation between a thick a pain in knees and elbows, uh, actually in your muscles, no comparison to, let's say, as he stated, a wound on his leg which just would not recuperate itself because it became sort of uh, i'm not gonna say exactly cancerous but let's use the expression acute akutna huh? uh so it's persevering and the more it's persevering the longer it's persevering the more difficult is to cure one yeah 
uh, but I make the connection now that he is actually more or less in the same, I'm not going to say category, but more or less the same thing, you know, very similar to you in that sense, I say. Now let's listen to this one more time. So I get his attention <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I say, and he says, he's like you, you know, and he's like, yeah, oh yeah. And I say, yeah. Well, he says, you say, you're say, you said you had this for one year. Yeah. And I say, yeah. And he, they just learn about him. He just also got this thing. And he's like, yeah. And I say, he's just like you, you know, he's just like you, I tell them. And it's his daughter <laughs> that 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 uh, that says to me from the window. He says, she says, uh, "What did they say to him that he's got a tick? That he's got a tick?" Yeah, me some the gobrat me me ano da ti variasno us papa da lasti. So I say, yeah, he, exactly. I said his brother mentioned to me that that uh, could have been exactly from the tick. Ah, uh, that actually is from the tick. I remember all that stuff. We already have gone through that stuff, but let's see. Uh, I tell him the, the joke on uh, is on this debate we have just had about the red and white. Yeah, the red was about the Indians and the white was about the whites. If we go a little further about the red and white issue, I said, and I didn't say this about the red, about the Indians, white about the whites. I didn't say anything to him, but this is what it was in NK Ultra. I just said, this debate about the red and white, I remember this debate already for quite some time along a long ago we already have had, I say to him. And I say this was not one year ago when we had this debate. And he on the other hand, he had a problem with his knees, with this with this kind of problem, with the pain in his knees, elbows and so on. Already also some Way, way, way back in time. The situation with the tick, that's when they learned he had a problem in year 2017 already. And that's what I say, that's exactly the way it is. But he's just like you. You're saying you had a problem with this one year ago, since? He also had just recently got this problem with with uh, with his elbows and knees. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, he said, and I said, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, man. I said, and then there is this house here. This is a Mahar house here. And I said, and what about...
He, she got a cancer, the mother, the older mother, she just passed away in 2010, I state. No, it was not in 2010, but 2011, 2010, 2011. Six months. Igor Kotar was trying to save her and became desperate, became completely gave up on helping her out that she's going to make it through with the cancer. But that she got a cancer, that she actually had a cancer, it was 2012, eventually, that it came out. <laughs> and he is laughing, he is so happily laughing. Oh, look how he's laughing. And I said, that's how you are doing, my dear neighbors. <laughs> and he's so happy, he's laughing so happy. Uh, and I said to him, well, take care of yourself. Have, have a good day now. Ah, the God for the other is not there. And I just, before I leave, we say each other goodbye. And then I stop as I walk away and I say to him, listen, you should go for the mushrooms. It's a really good time. Oh, we had so much rain and it's mushroom just growing all over the place, all over the forest. Uh, I, 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 I told his daughter and to him, I thought I was in a, I was in a forest. Everything is just, is just growing when it comes to mushrooms. They're all over right there. As I passed the city, I saw so many mushrooms. You just go to the forest. You can pick them up. That's all you got to do. It's a lot of mushrooms. It's true. I told her it all depends on uh, if you know the mushrooms. And then there's some Slovenian names for the mushrooms. I tell them you just go, you pick up uh, really good mushrooms. I tell her if you go to the forest now, I guarantee you, you have not, you're not going to get as many mushrooms. It was not as many mushrooms the past 20 years in Slovenia, because we have had for two weeks nothing but the rain, and this rain, it just, it just, uh, it was a really, really rainy month, uh, September. It blasted the forest with really completely revived the forest so excellent i tell them just go and get yourself some mushrooms and stuff yeah. um the daughter tells me uh near maribor uh somebody got so many mushrooms or whatever i said forget about maribor that's 200 kilometers away basically uh, i'm thinking i'm not saying this just here you go to the forest you just you collect them as many as you want <laughs> She says, yeah, I can go in the forest, but I don't get to see them. I'm blind. Half. I, I'm not good for the mushrooms. In the sense, I'm blind. Okay, I don't see them very well. Yeah. But I say, oh, it's rain. It's rain, and 
uh, this kind of rain is just exceptional for the mushrooms. Dye blue. Mushrooms, it's like this that it was so many mushrooms, it's so many mushrooms. Unfortunately, I have a wound on my on my foot still on my right foot is still this cut. I cannot go on anything that would be humid because the wound is just gonna plain open to me. This is just the way this is just the way it is. This cut I got on this dam, it's a really bad cut but so many mushrooms that we go to the forest the certain parts of the forest i was it's impossible to walk that you would not step on a mushroom it's like incredible how they blossom from uh, from the ground all over the place i mean you can have them as many as you want in a in a just a little in just a little time but this is just during the rainy season so i thought i would give him a good tip yeah but the bad not is racing that guy but it's a bit too for two i'm a sport he was too polite he blew for me he had no better go up any blue that's me blue i'm a sushi but grass and sushi but i told him in 2020 when he came from poland you know i told him uh, it was a it was a, such a dry season all these years were so dry but in 2020 it was also dry it was so dry in 2020 when they came actually in 2021 that will be like last year uh, in the summertime and I was looking a little bit for the mushrooms and stuff like this and there was no mushrooms anywhere it was just one area where it was a little stream but it's that stream that there always is humid in that valley uh, people traditionally would go into that valley which never ever disappointed with mushrooms if you couldn't find mushrooms anywhere else you would have find them along the river or along the stream because mushrooms just love humid Also, we put them on the other side. We put them on the other side. Then we just put half of them to the other side. The other side is not like a half of foot. Yeah, to the other. But this is the other side. This is the other side. This is the other side. The vlaga. No, we put them on the other side. In Nikir Gok Nikir, Nikir, a pot tam se pa vedno ble, ki jaz se spomnim tega skubeta tam, in tudi, že ko sem bil bejšen, ko smo tam hodili, k Marko to recimo, ne, z Bergerjem Marko tam, tam je še en Marko skubetov, seveda zmeraj, ki je bila sočan, se nikjer ni bilo, ampak tam, ki je bilo tisto korijeti, ki je voda, Tam je upa zmeri, zato pravim, da zdala, zdala mora biti bilo. Zdala je pa res, zdala se vam pa sva te. Ali se treba narediti? Ja, jaz ne vem. Če bi jo ne naredila. Tadi te vesa od... Ko vidi, ki veste, časem, ki se ga noter v šodrno, jo, v lesenu kuretu pa v šodrno, da se ga potope noter. Ja, da je to v šodr. The daughter tells me, go get this mushrooms and it's going to be mom and then it's going to be superior and i said well i don't know if she's going to be peer or not that's something i have no idea and you can also go and store yourself a chestnut i tell them you take a wooden um kurita i don't know how you say that i don't even know how you would say that and you bury them with the sand dry sand and it will last you the whole season yeah that's how the chestnut is stored to last longer
Крип и Чодрон вместят, не? И не си получат, не знам, 6 месеца да трябва. И три не трябва, там до три месеца да трябва. И ясно ми се да видите от тем обе. Там се се чекава някакви. Не, толкова не видно. Pri nas se nekaj zajebava, vsem pa se mislil, ko bi dvi te viri zelo. Ne, vso nekaj sor, pa tu tako zajebava se s tem, ampak moraš pa med šoder tako fini, pa suh mora biti. Ja? Ja, seveda je. Ne, mora biti suh šoder. Ja, zato je, ker tam, ki je vlaga, ne, ki stoji plesno. Ja, se je res, ampak če ga daš na eno tako mrzo, ne? Ja, ne vem. Pravzaprav, tukaj bi pravil, da je glih tu, ne? Če ti šoder gor na metr, lahko je eden, ne? Samo črl pa ne bo mogel, ker tako je še šoder, ne? Ne, druga. Ja, jaz se znam. So we talk about how you store the chestnut. She says she put it in the fridge and that lasts three months. But I tell her if you do what I uh, like this with the sand, it can last you six months or even more. Uh, yeah, preflesa on it. We have a good conversation, kind conversation. Ti ne boš nikdar dal deset kil postajna, pa da nekaj ne bo plesno. In ti se te pa plesno v tisto, pa tako gre, tako kot da si bi pozajemec pa brzo. Pa plesno. Ja se celo vreo pa plesno na rada. In je to. A ja. Uh, he says, there is one more thing I wanted to ask you. There is one more thing I wanted to ask you. Uh, there is one more thing I want to ask you. Oh, this is what I love about this stuff. I want to know. I am interested to know. How is with your health now? Uh, it was a time it was wrong with your health, right? Uh, and I said, what, uh, how do you mean uh, my health? And he, he says to me, he says to me, it used to be the time when we would meet each other and I would say hello to you. Uh, let's see the stuff again. Uh, and it was that I did not regard them, that I did not salute them when they would go for a walk. When they would pass, when they would go past me, that I would not say good day, good day, that I would just go and mind my own business. So he started this issue with, I want to know how is with your health? It was the time when it was wrong. And then he goes on to cite that it was times when he would go for a walk and he would not get a, a good day from me or hello from me when he would be passing next to me or his grandson. Yeah. And he said, what the fuck that means? No, he said... I said to myself, what the fuck that means? 
That's what he says. I, and, uh, and, and I say to him, I have no idea what it means. I have no idea what it means. I say, yes, yes. And I, said, and I said to him, listen, I said, how, how, how is your health? How are you doing? He says, he says to me, it was a disease, right? It was a disease, right? Yeah, he says, yeah. Haha. <laughs> yes. He says it was a disease. And I say, and I said to him, I had a disease, or did you have a disease? He says, not I, not I. I said, I, I said to him, listen, what kind of a problem did you guys create to me with the other neighbors? I tell them, what were you doing with me? And he says, what? And he says, he says, I don't know anything. I said, oh, you don't know anything. I said, oh, you see how you are? I said to him, do you see how you are? You're talking about the diseases and stuff, but you don't want to admit any wrongdoings you have done. He says, but what is wrong? I said, ah, I see, okay. Say, well, you know, these are other things then in that case. And it's his daughter that calls him, father, father, stop. <laughs> and her father keeps going, he keeps digging. I don't know, I don't know, he says. <laughs> And I say, well, we're going to end the debate here as a, yeah, take care of each other and have a nice day. And his daughter calls him, hey, father, stop, stop it. And he keeps going, hey. I don't know what I did. I don't know what this, what that. Uh, I, I tell him, listen, I said to him, uh, your daughter is saying that you have a phone call. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye, I tell him. I have no idea what what he stated, and now he stated he 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 told me, and now and now go and tell everybody what we have had here. And I just turn right, I go away. Oh, you got to listen to this one more time. This this is what I wanted you to hear. A nice conversation. Everything all right. Nice. And he just started to pull some stuff out of completely blue with idea to instigate into confrontation. Basically, he bullied and it just did not work out for him. In the end, he ended the conversation with now go and tell everybody about this. What I want to say to you is you couldn't hear this. I'm going to put the audio recording below. You couldn't hear any of this, but it was a Berger and Kotar. Kotar actually, uh, you couldn't hear this because it was the car that was so loud. When the car goes by, they were louder than audio recording, ability of Android to audio record, right? So Kotar even went ahead to beep with the car, beep with the car. So what's going on with the Kotar? With the Kotar, what's going on is the Kotar claimed is going to be the one who's going to prove that it was, that in Poland, what they did in, in Slovenia, uh, that they falsificated um, 
medical files in Slovenia as far as cancer wise in Poland as far as spine and that's basically how we would start some kind of a game like this and then the truth would come out well the thing about it is that I'm not interested in this kind of help I was told on LMK Ultra in fact they're going to involve they're going to give a chance to the people who did the worst things to come out clean and only if and only then if not than some other stuff but they're going to give the worst offenders the chance to come out basically as heroes saviors what i'm going to do is i'm going to repeat you the last portion of recording because this is what i wanted you to hear this is going to be all in slovenian language thank you very much ladies and gentlemen this is three hours and 33 minute long video this one alone um yeah the mental issues let me explain to you something the mental issues three other videos that are extremely long too i work all night yesterday and today uh it's it's uh it takes idiot to ruin somebody's life uh, and yeah it takes extremely unhealthy lifestyle and commitment to go beyond weight loss issues to bring about the justice To award yourself with a dignity worthy of the human being no less to pride yourself to pride yourself to reject to be seen to be worth less than a human being to reject to see yourself basically to be worth less than animal you understand and it only takes idiot you know it takes idiot cretin a primitive and i'm not going to even say in this case with a lot of money but with a lot of stolen money in this case with the stolen lives to ruin somebody's life <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Priznat noce pa ni česa, ko stvari, katere se naredi. Ti so kaj me robi? A, vete, ti so pa druge stvari. Ne, to je, mislim, da bo to ni bilo robi, ne vem, no. Če ti bomo bo pa se nehal debata. Mislim. Lepo so mejte, no. Mislim, koga si mislim, ker te... Ne, prav tudi ima če tudi, prav, prav v vaše stvari, ker ima če telefon. Aj, lepo so mejte, adio. Ja, pa lepo vezaj to. I'm not going to be paying uh, 
anyone, any mechanic to give relief to the police for destruction of my property, for burglarizing my room, destroying, vandalizing this room here. I'm not going to be paying any mechanic for this. I'm not going to be making this no deals with absolutely anybody. I would suggest Slovenian state to involve the people that were not involved in MK Ultra and let this be people who are interested in acting according to their assignments therefore description of their job responsibilities no dragons no bullies involved in MK Ultra no exhibitionists that tortured and have contributed to some kind of a hostility, to, hus to, some, to some kind of a hostile environment against individuals whom you have ruined life, 28 years of life, through the world of lies. That's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna put here the date and time when this was recorded.